Hi, this is Phil from PDQ Merchant Enterprises and the ATM Mastermind Group page. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about five add-ons to the ATM business. Always remember that we have an ATM A to Z course that teaches you from A to Z how to be successful in the ATM business. We also have an ATM Mastermind Group page for like-minded individuals just like yourself who want to learn a little bit more about the ATM business and being a community of other ATM business owners. Always remember here at ATM Mastermind Group that we teach you how to buy your freedom back one transaction at a time. And with further ado, here we go, zip, 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 ricochet rabbit. No, we're going to go right on to the five add-ons to the ATM business. All right, so Phil, what's an add-on to the ATM business? I, I don't really understand what you're talking about. Here's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about being in the ATM business and from time to time when you're in the ATM business, after a given amount of time, you will have an opportunity, if you want, to do some of these other businesses and expand your line of services that you offer the business owner. So, here we go. Add-on number one that I see all the time. If you're in the gas station business or you're in the, you're in the gas stations uh, with your ATM, you can also put what they call an air pump into the gas stations. So you can buy an air pump somewhere between 1,200 and 2,200, depending on the size. You'll have to get a, you have to cement, get a cement block, put the air pump in a cement block so it doesn't walk away. And then you could place this air pump with the gas station owner. Now you're already in the gas station, so you got the relationship. Remember, I always tell you guys, relationship is the key. It's just like owning real estate. You own that real estate with that business owner. So you had that relationship. Now all you do is you say, look, the gas owner, station owner, hey, I'm going into air pump business. I saw one. Are you willing to try it out on your property? They're going to tell you yes or no, and you're going to place one. Now, I know air pumps, what you'll need to know is you'll have either credit cards or you'll have cash that, you'll, that it'll accept. Okay, and if you have credit cards, you'll need a Wi-Fi device. If it's just cash only, you're going to need a coin counter or some way to count that money. So you'll you'll place the air pump at the location, and then once a month or once every two weeks, whatever you deem, you're going to count that money and you split with the gas station owner. Now, the split you'll negotiate that, but from rule of thumb, pretty much it's a 50-50 deal. You might have to take out your expenses of the credit of if you do credit cards, credit card fee and or a wireless device, but for the most part, it's a 50-50 deal, less expenses, and you'll split that up. You can run it right through your ATM business, um, just deposit that in your checking, general checking account, and away you go. This is just another way to add some value to you. You already got the relationship uh, here at PDQ. We don't do that, but we do see other ATM owners who do do that from time to time. Was it my forte that the uh, air pump but it is available for you guys if you guys were looking at doing that. So just want to bring that to your attention. All right, point number two is the amusements. So here's what the amusement devices is. If you're in a bar, the restaurant, or laundromats, you can add on amusements. That would be a, a jukebox, a pool table, uh, a pinball machine, um, things of that nature, to uh, some crane machines, a uh, little bouncy house uh, type of machine, something that dispenses a prize, you can add those to your line of business, all right? General split on something like that is, is again, it's a 50-50 deal. You take the expenses off the top. Um, if you have a crane, you're gonna take, let's say, 30% for merchandise off the top and then split it 50-50. Or a good friend of mine would always say, hey, we're 50-50-50 here. You take 50% off for prizes, then you split it with the location 50-50. But, so that is how that works. Um, you know what you if you need some amusement advice you can give us a contact for that I was I used to be in the amusement business for over 20 years so I know all about that lane we started there and then we migrated into the ATM business we sold off our portfolio of amusement devices but if you guys need help you can always use us here at PDQ for a resource to help you navigate through the muddy waters um, we're still an active AMOA member um, that's amusement association for national and uh, we can help you migrate through that. Whatever you guys need, we got your back. All right, point number three is the credit cards. So now you're into some of the, let's say, bars and restaurants. They take credit cards, the ones that are, that are not, I would try to stay away from 
turning them on to credit cards if they're cash only because it's going to take your ATM away. But from time to time, you're going to have the opportunity to now, you could say, hey, you know what? We sell credit cards. So a lot of people who are in the ATM business, they also sell merchant services on the side or a full time that helps with another line of revenue into the into your business. Basically what happens is you become an agent, you'll be able to get, let's say if there's a total profit of 100%, you'll be able to get as an agent anywhere from 20 to maybe as much as 50% for bringing in business, and now you can make money from the credit card processing. So that's just another little add-on. If you wanted to go that way, you can do that. Point number four, I always talk about it, is the mobile ATM. It's, when we talk about permanent placements as the ATM, the mobile events, those are fairs, festivals, concerts, uh, firework festivals, things of that nature. Something that is just, you're just going to bring the mobile ATM in there for a short amount of time, make what we consider high amount of money, a lot, a large chunk of cash, another people always talk about. <clears throat> and then you'll pick up your ATM and you'll, you'll bring it back to your location, your shop, and then you'll just do it again the next weekend or the next month. So this just allows you to make large chunks of money real fast in the ATM business. I don't consider it part of the ATM business. I consider it an add-on because it's not you actually putting the ATM in the location for a large amount of time and servicing. A lot of people are just in the ATM mobile business. They just concentrate on short-term ATM venues. So once we get out of COVID, that revenue stream revenue opportunity will start going again and it's a nice little opportunity if you are in the ATM business it's not really out of the realm too much it's a good opportunity for you all right and point number five point number five is vending so you're in some of the laundromats you can you can add what they call sticker machines or bulk vending those are little capsules you can add that to your line massage chairs they have those or you can uh, add a uh, snack and soda machines, those are opportunities. Usually something like that, you gotta buy the snack machine, then you gotta buy the product, um, then you take a percentage off the top for your inventory, and then you split that with the business owner uh, when you go in there or you send them a check, however you decide to do it, and then you gotta keep the machine in. On some of those situations, amusement and or vending, you'll have to register with the local state, uh, local city, municipality, um, a lot of times they want to see a little sticker on the machine. So just be aware of those little, I always call them nuances, but little regulations, licensing procedures. Most of the time in the ATM business, we don't have to uh, get a sticker. A lot of times we do have to register with your state. So if you're getting into ATM business, always contact your state to see, hey, do I have to register with the local municipality or the state? It's different in every city. Um, but with vending and amusement, 100% you have to do that. Guarantee it. So, hope all those tips are helpful. Those are just five add-ons to the ATM business. You already control the real estate, and if you decide, hey, you know what, I'd like to add a couple more products to my line, make some extra money, you can do that because you already had that business relationship. Thank you guys very much for subscribing to our YouTube channel, and remember to comment, give the thumbs up again, uh, share it with any and all of your friends. Uh, always remember we have an ATM mastermind group page that's free to join for like for like-minded individuals just like yourself who want to learn a little bit more about the ATM business and be a community of other ATM business owners. And I will see you guys over at the ATM Mastermind group page. And just a little tip, uh, I wrote a book and we're going to release the book on December 11th. So we're going to start talking about the book from time to time. And I'm just going to, we're going to put the link uh, in the next video. So Hope this, these tips are helpful and I'll see you guys over at the ATM Mastermind Group page. Thank you.